This is Anuradha, Assistant Professor of Commerce, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Tirchanga. We are discussing about the subject, Goods and Service Tax. Direct Tax, meaning a direct tax is a tax that a person or organization pays directly to the entity that imposed it. Example are income tax, real property tax, personal property tax and taxes on assets, all of which are paid by an individual taxpayer directly to the government. Definition of direct tax. Direct tax is a type of tax where the incidence and the impact of taxation fall on the same entity. Indirect tax. An indirect tax is collected by one entity in the supply chain such as a manufacturer or retailer and paid to the government. However, the tax is passed on to the consumer by the manufacturer or retailer. As a part of the purchase price of your goods or services, the consumer is ultimately paying the tax by paying more for the product. Types of indirect taxes. There are various types of indirect taxes in India. However, after the implementation of GST, all these indirect taxes were bundled into one singular tax for the citizen of India. First one, service tax. This tax is levied by an entity in return for the service provided by them. The service tax is collected by the government of India and deposited with them. Excise duty. When any product or good is manufactured by a company in India, then the tax levied on those goods is called an excise duty. The manufacturing company pays the tax on the goods and in turn recovers the amount from their consumers. Value added tax. Value added tax simply known as VAT. This type of tax is levied on any product sold directly to consumer and is movable. VAT consists of central sales tax which is paid to the government of India, state central sales tax which is paid to the respective state government. The next one is custom duty. This is a tax levied on the goods imported to India. Sometimes costume duty is also levied on products which are exported out of India. Stamp duty. Stamp duty levied on the transfer of any immovable property in state of India. The government, the state government in host, whose state the property is located changes and this type document to. Next one is entertainment tax. This tax is changed by the state government and is applicable or any products or transactions related to entertainment, purchasing of any video games, movie shows, sports, activities, arcades, amusement parks, etc. are some of the products on which entertainment tax is charged. Security transaction tax. This tax levied during the trading of securities through Indian stock exchanges. Futures of indirect tax. Tax liability, the service provider or seller pays indirect taxes to the government and the liability is transferred to the consumer. Next one is payment of tax. The seller pays indirect taxes on the government and the same is transferred to the consumer. Third one is nature. Indirect taxes are were initially regressive in nature, but thanks to the implementation of the goods and services tax, they are now pretty progressive. The fourth one, saving and investment. Indirect taxes are generally growth-oriented considering the fact that they encourage consumers to save and invest. Aviation. It is difficult to avoid indirect taxes because they are now implemented directly through products and services. Advantages of indirect tax. Convenience. Indirect tax do not burden the taxpayer and are convenient as they are paid only at the time of making a purchase. Moreover, state authorities find it convenient to levy the indirect taxes because they are collected directly at the stores or factories which help in saving a lot of time and effort. Ease of collection. Indirect taxes are easily to collect in comparison with the direct taxes. Since indirect taxes are only collected at the time of making purchases, the authorities need not worry about their collection. The next one is collection from the poor. Those who earn less than 2.5 lakhs per annum are exempt from income tax, which means that they do not contribute to the government. Since indirect tax are charged at the point of sale, 
all individuals regardless of the income tax slab under which they fall contribute towards the growth of the economy equitable contribution indirect taxes are directly related to the cost of products and services what is the essentially means that the basic necessities attract lower rate of tax while luxury items are charged at a higher tax rates thereby ensuring the contribution are equitable thank you for watching